Some things really are just too ridiculous for words. I had a conversation the other day with a friend and colleague who has been a member of the Labour Party, or at least a Labour voter, since she arrived in this country some 20 years ago. And yet she tells me that for the first time she is considering voting for another party, even though she believes that in her constituency that will simply make it more likely that the Tories will get in because she cannot stomach the anti-Semitism of the Labour Party. I feel quite exasperated at this point. You see, I'm a lifelong Labour supporter, and apart from leaving immediately after Tony Blair took us into an illegal war, and a few years after that, I've been a party member since I was a young socialist at 16. I have never met an anti-Semite in the party. Genuinely, never. I'm not an anti-Semite. Nobody I know is an anti-Semite. Uh, I'm utterly amazed that so many people have fallen for this ridiculous narrative of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Her evidence was that a friend of hers, a doctor who is Jewish and who lives in the northeast of England, got some death threats that were very definitely anti-Semitic. However, I don't believe that those death threats came from members of the Labour Party, and I'll tell you why. The northeast of England is well known for its far right contingency. There are members of the EDL, there are members of the National Front, of the various um, infidel groups. North East Infidels is a, a very active group. All across the northeast of England there are far right and neo-Nazi groups who are increasingly active. I'm not surprised that a Jewish doctor in the northeast would get death threats in this current climate. But I do not believe that they have come from Labour Party members. What seems to be the problem is that people don't understand the difference between anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. Anti-Semitism is when people have a problem with other people simply because they happen to be Jewish. I don't know of any of those in the party, but I do know of a number of people who agree with me that the Israeli government is mistreating and abusing the human rights of Palestinians in the West Bank. That's Zionism. And many of us oppose that. I'm anti-Zionist, absolutely. But not because I dislike Jewish people. It's because I dislike the policies of a government that is oppressing a minority. And I dislike that sort of oppression across the world, whoever is doing it. These are very different things. I hope those who know me and those who've seen my videos will understand my absolute opposition to discrimination on the grounds of race, of colour, of religion, of ability or disability, anything you like, really. I don't discriminate against people for being who they are or for following the religion that they do or for the society that they were born into. I'm a card-carrying member of the Labour Party. I am not an anti-Semite, but I am anti-Zionist in the same way that I would oppose the oppression of the Nazis who were anti-Semitic, and I would oppose that oppression on the grounds that Jewish people deserve not to be discriminated against. I oppose the far right, because they discriminate against Jews, and also against Muslims, and against black people. I oppose all discrimination, including the discrimination against Palestinians 
that is being perpetrated currently by the State of Israel. Now the next time that you hear someone accuse the Labour Party of anti-Semitism, ask yourself this question. Do they mean anti-Semitism or do they mean anti-Zionism? Because the Labour Party has always stood against oppression. This is no different. But we do not discriminate against people. I'm Stuart Sorensen and this is Left Eye View. If you found this video interesting, please click on the little I subscribe icon that's on your screen right now. And while you're at it, please like and share this video. It'll really help me get this brand new leftist channel off the ground. Thank you very much.